So I have my chocolate molds right out of the refrigerator. They're nice and firm and ready to be filled. And I'm gonna go ahead and with a piping bag, you could choose any filling you like, whether it's store-bought caramel, I'm using Nutella. You can make your own ganache and fill it up. But I'm just gonna take my piping bag and fill up my molds just until they're about three quarters of the way full. So as I'm filling my mold, you could see I'm kind of holding my piping bag really firm. And at the end, I don't want to kind of lift up and have that big kind of Hershey Kiss shape to it. So I'm just giving my wrist a little bit of a twist. And that almost acts as like a little palette knife. I'm kind of keeping my piping bag from creating that Hershey Kiss shape as best as I can. Now the reason we don't want to overfill these molds is we're going to be topping them off with another layer of dark chocolate. So this way it's fully encased. If I tried to overfill, I would have kind of big domes of chocolate. And you don't want to underfill either because that way you would have a really thick, crunchy layer of chocolate on the bottom of your truffle. So just about three quarters of the way. We're ready to go. So I'm just going to a little bit of a tap on the table. So this way it's going to help smooth out any of those extra little nipply things kind of stiffing up. And just a little bit more of my tempered dark chocolate right over the top. So I've drizzled in my dark chocolate. I'm just going to hit it just a little bit and then with my offset spatula, just smooth it over the tops. So that's going to cover up my filling. Make sure you fill them all the way. If you need to add any extra chocolate, it's a good time to do it. Okay, and now just with a bench scraper, kind of scrape off any excess. So that's it. You can see all I have left are my little heart shapes. I'm going to pop this back into the fridge for about 10 minutes, let it firm up, and then we're going to pop these chocolates out of the mold. So my chocolate truffles have been in the fridge for about 5-10 minutes until you can see they're nice and firm. And all I'm going to do is kind of move back and forth on the mold, try to loosen things up a little bit, and then we pray. And then we flip them over and hope that they all come right out, which they did. So we have our beautiful, you can see how kind of shiny and glossy. If any don't come out, just give it a little extra hit. Or if you really have trouble, pop it back in the fridge for another couple of minutes and they should release on their own. There we go. Got them all out. And that's it. You can see how many we made just by using one mold. You can like have enough for an entire dinner party. So if you want to, you can put them in these really cute little candy cups or you can just serve them as they are and give them as gifts, put them in a box. They're really delicious, really cute. That's how you use chocolate molds. Mm -hmm.